Thank you, Rebecca, church musician, for that lovely prelude. Well, greetings and welcome to all of you who have tuned into Soul Crafted here at the link at Bethesda. We welcome you and we trust, we hope, we pray that our time gathered in this way together will be of inspiration, of hope, and of help. What's new at the link at Bethesda? Well, this week we are pivoting from uh, holy food trucks to other uh, mission and vision-based volunteer opportunities. More on that in our reflection time. Also, be sure and read our bulletin. There are other volunteer opportunities, uh, stories of faith and friendship. If you do not receive uh, a bulletin, send me an email and I'll be sure that you are on the list. So, we gather here to worship, here in this summing up of our birthday of the church celebration at Pentecost. Let us hear the call to worship. Jesus says, come all you who are heavy burdened and I will give you rest. Jesus says, I stand at the door and knock and I wish to enter in to give you my love and peace. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. Let us follow the light of Christ as we come to worship now. Let us pray. Lord God, you gather us to come and worship. As we do so, we know we are moved by the Spirit. As we are moved by the Spirit during our worship gathering at Soulcrafted this morning, may your Spirit give us avenues into truth reconciliation, justice, and peace. As we gather, may your word speak to us. May your spirit come to us, enlarge and enliven and encourage our spirits, our lives in you, in faith. Lord Jesus, we come today from a variety of experiences this week. We come today as those who share in uh, being Canadians and who share in tragedy, in loss of children, and in the hopefulness of building a better future together. By your spirit, draw us together, bind us to you so that we might know your purposes for life, health, health, and hope. Bless this time of worship, gather us together, and then send us forth. Amen. For those of you who come by Soulcrafted on a regular basis, you will notice that uh, today's uh, offering uh, takes on a slightly different format. For today, we will uh, group together our experience of our scripture readings, our vision elements, a magnifying, uh, a magnifying image and a hymn that also par parallels and amplifies the theme of each of our reflections. Our reflections in turn are a summing up of our celebration of the birthday of the church and therefore the birthday of Bethesda Church, the birthday at Pentecost and the going forward into the future through our vision elements. So as continue to gather at Soulcrafted this morning, let us turn to our scripture, our hymn, our reflection, and our magnifying image. Our first reflection this morning goes through the lens of the why of our love element. Let us pray. O oh Lord God, as we turn to the scriptures now, may they be for us the bread of life, the, life for, the light for our journey, the very word of God to our lives and to our church. Amen. We begin with our first scripture reading, the scripture reading to inform and guide our love element, 1 Corinthians 13. I may speak in different languages of people or even angels, but if I do not love, I am only a noisy bell or a crashing cymbal. I may have the gift of prophecy 
I may understand all the secret things of God and have all knowledge. And I may have faith so great that I can move mountains. But even with all these things, if I do not have love, then I am nothing. I may give everything I have and may even give my body as an offering to be burned. But if I gain, I gain nothing, if I do not have love. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous. It does not brag and it is not proud. Love is not rude, is not selfish, and does not get upset with others. Love does not count up wrongs that have been done. Love takes no pleasure in evil, but rejoices over the truth. Love patiently accepts all things. It always trusts, always hopes, and always endures. Love never ends. We begin with our love element as our first element through which we will celebrate and summarize our Bethesda birthday and the birthday of the church. And we do so because we read in scriptures that God is love. So why do we exist as Bethesda? Why do we seek to grow and to learn and to adjust as we move along? It is because who God is, because God is love. We respond, we are motivated in kind. Furthermore, we read this in the Bethesda mission statement. At and through Bethesda United Church, our mission is to seek to love an ever more inclusive and wider circles of love as Christ has loved us, quoting John 13, and all creation in body, mind, and spirit, and our vision element described, owned, and carried out as follows in terms of the love element. We hear this declaration, love is the distinctly human element which informs our living out of our mission of loving as Christ has loved, and is meant to be obviously present in and through our four other elements. The love element team seeks to nurture and manage this pervasive love, all being well seen in distinct pastoral care to longtime Bethesda people and recent arrivers, whether their Bethesda connection is deep or more casual, and ever widening circles of people. All our relations, all of our vision is contained, is motivated, is purposefully moved forward by this why of love, as magnified here in this illustration. Everyone who is born of God, loves, and knows God, because God is love. That is why Bethesda exists. That is why we attempt to do fundraisers. That is why we are expanding our reach to the link. That is why we do soul crafted on Sundays, because God is love, and love is present, and God is present, and love calls creation, and us, and justice, and hope, and truth and reconciliation into being. That is why there is a link at Bethesda. That is why we seek to make it more viable and more of a place where an ever widening circle of people can know and be blessed by and share and give back God's love. Our love element hymn. Joyful, joyful, we adore thee, God of glory, Lord of love. Sing along if it is safe to do so. Pray along, share along.
our scripture reading to inform and guide our water element of mission. Luke chapter 10. Then an expert of the law stood up to test Jesus, saying, Teacher, what must I do to get life forever? Jesus said, What is written in the law? What do you read there? The man answered, Love the Lord your God, your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind. Also, love your neighbor as you love yourself. Jesus said to him, Your answer is right. Do this, and you will live. The why of our vision is because God is love. The next question is, who does that love go towards? Who is that love for? We read in our vision, vision elements from the water element. From flowing water flows all human life and all creation. The trees in the nook, the growth in the healing garden, and all of our link areas. In scripture, water is experienced as the extension of Christ's life and love, available to all and to be shared with all. In carrying out our Bethesda mission, the Water Element team will nurture and manage our outreach partnerships, projects, and ever-widening ever circles of relations. The answer about question who is obvious all of God's creatures, all of our relations, all our daughters and sons, all people, all creation, all are within the purview, all are within the purposefulness of God who is love and ought to be in our purposefulness as well. This we strive to do through our community relations, through our ongoing viability, through our outreach, through our nurturing our own selves and sense and positioning within God's love. Who are we to love? All. Our water element hymn of paralleling and magnification. Christ, when for us you were baptized, Baptize us with your spirit now, you cross your cross on us to be signed, that likewise in God's service we may perfect freedom find. Scripture to guide and inspire our air element. 2 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 17. The Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. Our air element of our vision elements seeks to speak to the what in terms of what it is that we are sharing in love and because of love. These two pictures give the parameters, the bookmarks, for what it is that we share in love and through love in some more particular ways.
What do we have to offer in love to all who are loved by God who is love? Well, primarily we have to offer a worship experience here at Soul Crafted, believing that all human beings are created within an ancient sense to worship, to be connected to God, as is all creation. And so we seek to faithfully, creatively, lovingly offer worship as the primary source, the primary resource of what we have to offer, but not the only one. We also have our link spaces, which are still being evolved and created to bring healing, health, and hope to body, mind, and spirit for everyone who would come by, for all of God's daughters and sons. And then, of course, the link spaces have community partners. So they're designed to operate like a hub, with a hub in the middle and then spokes reaching out to bless and to care for those who come by, and then in turn, through our community partners, to bless and care and give hope to the God who is love, to many, many more, such as those at Inasmuch House, or the Wesley Centre, or the Living Rock, or the Aboriginal Health Centre. That answers the question of what we have to offer in love. It is specific, and yet it is expansive, as God's love, as God, is expansive. Our hymn to express the what of our air element is one thing remains, one resource remains, one resource fills out and carries forth our air element. One thing remains, the resource of love. Sing along if it is safe to do so.
The one thing that remains is love. And we share that love because of who God is to all of God's children. We remember that our air resources are meant to facilitate that love. Here is our vision element description of some of the nuts and bolts, the particular, the particulars of our air element. Through the spirit, the breath, wind of God, the church has given birth and our mission to love in body, mind and spirit as Christ has loved us. The spirit element team will nurture and manage all Bethesda resources, human, physical, property, digital, and cloud to best allow the spirit to flow freely and our mission in God's love to go forward. The scripture reading to guide our earth element. Let us hear it now. Psalm 16 verses 7 to 11. I praise the Lord because he advises me. Even at night I feel his leading. I keep the Lord before me always. Because he is close by my side, I will not be hurt. So I rejoice and am glad. Even my body has hope. Because you will not leave me in the grave. You will not let your Holy One be left alone. You will teach me how to live a holy life. Being with you, you will fill me with joy. At your right hand, I will find pleasure forever. Our earth element will describe how our vision, being driven by love, being shared to all, being resourced by Soul Crafted and the Link and our community partners. Our earth element will describe how this will happen, how it will happen. Here is our earth stone vision element description. Within earth comes our rootedness and belonging. Christ is called the living rock on which our lives and faith and our Bethesda mission is built. This is a universal, shared, human, and created environmental reality. The earth stone element team will nurture and manage ongoing discovery and development of ways for all ages and all people to more deeply experience this loving rootedness belonging, and foundation. Scriptures declare it. God is the source. His word is the how. Elsewhere in scripture we read, your word is a lamp unto my feet, or your word is sweeter to me than honeycomb. And so it is the scripture, not woodenly as simply a book sitting on a shelf or read in church, but rather a dialogue, a dialogue with God's word that was breathed and created a faith community that continues, imperfectly mind you, to seek to live out those scriptures that seek to formulate a community reflecting God's person of love, reflecting hope, peace, truth, beauty, justice, love. How will we do the air element resources? How will we love as God has loved us? Many commentators, many church growth experts says, say, as the spiritual temperature of the church goes, there goes its finances, its growth, its well-being. And so the call is to engage in scriptures, in thoughtful meditation, in faith growth to live out the why of God being love and loving us and wanting to grow not just in us but through us. That is the how to encountering God's word, God's witness, God's life. Our hymn reflective of the how of our vision of filling out and living in and through God's love is O Breath of Life. Sing along, pray along, think along, share along. O Breath of Life, come breathe within us, renewing thought 
and will and heart. Come, O love of Christ, afresh to win us. For our fifth element, our fifth vision element, to live out and in the God of love, we consider the question, when? When? And that takes us back to the start of this Pentecost season and to our scripture and to the birthday, the birth of the church. When? Wind. Fire. The word of God in Acts. Our scripture to inspire and shape our fire element. Acts chapter two. When the day of Pentecost came, they were all together in one place. Suddenly a noise like a strong blowing wind came from heaven and filled the whole house where, where they were sitting. They saw something like flames of fire that were separate and stood over each person there. They were all filled with the Holy Spirit, and they began to speak different languages by the power the Holy Spirit was giving them. And verse 17, God says, in the last days, I will pour out my spirit on all kinds of people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy. Your young men will see visions, and your old men will dream dreams. At this time, I will pour out my spirit also on my male slaves and female slaves, and they will prophesy. I will show miracles in the skies and on the earth, blood, fire, and thick smoke. The sun will become dark, the moon red as blood, before the overwhelming and glorious day of the Lord will come. Then anyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. This ends the scripture reading. Thanks be to God for the word of God to inform and guide our vision elements, our lives, our faith, our church. Amen. The fiery spirit of God coming down on men and women, young and old, and them responding in arms wide open in worship, in worshiping the God, the presence of love, the power of love, the reality of love. And so it is that our most basic church item, our most basic church experience, that of worship, is that which is ongoing. Yes, it is sun, but Sunday by Sunday, and we hope in a more incarnated, more traditional, more expected, more needed way of gathered eventually, but also through our soul gathered experience Sunday by Sunday through our YouTube channel, but most importantly, that connecting to the God who is, who declares I am who I am, who declares God is love, deliberately as human beings, making the choice to fulfill our stewardship, to fulfill our time, to fulfill our volunteering, if you will, by gathering in God's presence to learn to think, to reflect, and then to serve and to love in kind. When? Sunday by Sunday as our church history. But of course, this worshipful mode in the ongoing fire of God can and does happen 
anytime and every time we open ourselves to the God who is love. Our fire mount element hymn, a worshipful plea, come, O Spirit, dwell among us. Here is how our Bethesda vision element captures the fire element, the fire element of when, whenever we gather, whenever we open our hearts. Fire ignites and gives warmth and luminosity to worship as our primary universal response to our mission as being loved in Christ. The fire element team will nurture and manager, manage existing and recommend future worship experiences that faithfully include as many people of all ages to celebrate and remind all who gather of our and all, all creation of being loved in Christ in body, mind, and spirit. Amen. Thanks be to God. During this birthday, this Pentecost of the church this year, there has also been the news of the deaths, the losses of Indigenous children, the ongoing impact of residential schools, the need to mourn, as the letter from our moderator points out, the need to stand by and with and pray for our Indigenous brothers and sisters as we grow, as we pray, as we learn, as we love together. I would like to leave our soul crafted time this morning with an encouragement for Bethesda to love as Christ has loved us, to seek to draw in to worship times, to seek to serve through air times and air experiences of seeking out the community partners that are there, of in the weeks to come to 
read the scriptures that are suggested for some in sermon series, to make contributions to a digest, to invite neighbors to link, to link spaces, and to soul craft it. And in so doing, to live out our vision, to love in ever widening circles of love, as Christ has loved us. And perhaps in the spirit of going full circle, with fiery worship that is inclusive of all ages, <clears throat> and with the intention to heal our nation and all nations, there is this final worship offering before going to our prayers. Build your kingdom here by Rend Collective. Come set your rule and reign in our hearts again. Increase in us we pray, unveil why we're made. Come set our hearts ablaze with hope, like wildfire in our very souls. Holy Spirit, come invade us now. We are your church, we need your power in us. Seek your kingdom first We hunger and we thirst Refuse to waste our lives For you're our joy and prize To see the captive hearts released The hurt, the sick, the poor at peace We lay down our lives for heaven's cause We are your church we pray revive this earth build your kingdom here let the darkness fear show your mighty hand heal our streets
our pastoral prayers and collective prayer for times of change from a new way of being church from the United Church of Canada, Pentecost Resources. Let us pray. We have entered into a new way of being church. At this Pentecost moment, at this birth of the church, we are not alone. God will reveal creation's dream as we give thanks for whose we are. Christ will claim us as his own as we declare who we are. God's Spirit will pour out on us as we anticipate who we will become. At and during this Pentecost, we take courage in the assurance of whose we are. We affirm our call to be Christ's disciples, and we trust the Spirit to guide us through the challenging space between who we are and who we will be. Surely, we are not alone. Thanks be to God. And in our church rotation prayer this morning, we pray for Angus United Church. And now let us continue in prayer as we pray that God will continue to fill, bless, and guide our lives as individuals, as families, as communities, and that God will bless encourage and shape the manifestation of our Bethesda vision elements. Let us prayerfully ask God to bless those elements. Let us pray for our Bethesda mission and vision elements. Let us hear them prayerfully, joining our hearts to our mission and vision, to the people that inhabit it, to the people yet to share in it, and to God's Spirit, that God, Creator, Redeemer, Sustainer, would create this vision as reality, would redeem it from human flaw, and sustain it to bring life and hope. Our Bethesda Mission Element Statement. Lord God, we would pray that at and through Bethesda United Church, our mission to seek to love in ever more inclusive and wider circles of love as Christ has loved us and all creation in mind, body, and spirit would come to complete fruition by your grace and in Christ's mercy. We pray for our water element. From, from flowing water flows all human life and creation the trees in the nook, the growth in the healing garden, and our link areas. Lord God, may healing water flow through us. The earth element, within earth comes our rootedness and belonging. Christ is called the living rock on which our lives and faith and our Bethesda mission is built. Lord God, may we discover earthy places of being formed by faith and rooted by your spirit. Air, through the spirit, the breath, wind of God, the church has given birth and our mission to love in body, mind and spirit as Christ has loved us. God use these resources to bring your mission. Fire, fire ignites and gives warmth and, and luminosity and worship as our primary universal response to our mission as being loved in Christ. Lord God, bless our worship gatherings and our worship life individually, that we may be drawn into the very holiness and wonder and majesty and mission of God and our love element. Love is the distinctly human element which informs our living out of our mission of loving as Christ has loved us. Lord God, in your love, inform and guide and fill out our love. Lord God, bless, keep, nurture, and sustain these vision elements in Jesus' name. Amen. And we continue to pray in the Lord's Prayer. 
Let us pray. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. Continuing in prayer, we pray for Angus United Church that you would fill her people and her purpose with hope and the good news. And now our sending prayer. In this Pentecost moment, let us give all thanks and glory to God, whose power working in us can do infinitely more than we can ask or imagine. Glory to God from generation to generation in the church and through the spirit now and forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, the peace of the Holy Spirit be with, abide, and flow through you all. Amen. Until we gather again, bye-bye for now.